All right, how's everybody doing out there today in Math Magic Land? This is Mr. Muscarella coming at you. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Desmos to check your slope and the equations of lines in different forms using the Desmos graphing calculator. So first, let's open up the Desmos graphing calculator. Now for my students, because we're going to be saving our work throughout the year, make sure that you are logged in. And when you click on the login button, you want to log in with Google. And of course, you will use your LCPS Google credentials, not your own personal stuff. So make sure you log in accordingly. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is title our graph. And for this example, what I want you to do is go ahead and title it Forms of Lines 1 forms of lines one. And then once we have that, we're going to click save. All right, so the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a folder, all right? And that folder is going to be called points. So we're gonna to go to this little plus sign up here and we're gonna add an item called a folder. And we're gonna name that folder points. And then hit return. Now notice underneath points, there's a drop down, little triangle drop down, and we have the cursor blinking right there. Now the two points that we are going to take a look at, the two points we're gonna take a look at today are going to be the following. And this is what you are going to type in in the form. And they are the two points. A is going to be point three comma four. And notice, I forgot a parentheses over there and Desmos kind of prompts me to do that. And then what I'm gonna do is click on this label button and I'm gonna label that point A and hit return. Now return didn't get me to the next line, so what I wanna do is go back up to the point and then hit return again. Now I'm gonna add another point and that point is gonna be negative seven comma two and then close the parentheses. This point, I am gonna label point B. Now notice we can see both points A and B on our graph in Desmos. What I want you to do is whatever color point A is for you, I want you to change the color point B to match that. So in order to do that, we're going to click on the little round circle here, which is in line number three, and we're gonna hold on that. And you see these options for different styles. So we're gonna change that color so that it matches and notice the check mark went to blue because the color of mine is blue. So those two points match in the same color. All right, so that's it. I've got those two points there labeled in the points folder. Now I'm gonna close that folder and when I close the folder, I'm just gonna click on this drop down arrow and notice everything folds up into the points. If I click on the folder itself, notice everything goes away. So I want to see the points and there we are. Now sometimes our lines might not be, um, you know, in a folder. So if that's the case, if I were to fold this up, notice uh, seven, negative seven, two is still outside. It's not, it didn't fold up and go away with that. So in order to do that, make sure your folder is showing everything that's in it. And then we're going to grab this. So notice how the, um, cursor changed to a little crosshair. So we're going to move that in until it snaps and it's going to go underneath. So you're going to see this line going down right here, which means everything is in that folder. All right, cool. So next we're going to create another folder in that folder. So we're gonna do plus and then folder, and we're gonna call that one point slope form. Once we have that folder, we're going to go ahead and hit enter. Now, the slope that we got from those two points will be the same in both of these. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take point A and we're gonna use point slope form. And if you forget what that is, I'll actually put that up here. So Y minus Y1. Uh, you don't have to write this in yours, it's just kind of, but you should have it down in your notes. Uh, equals m, and m is a slope, times x minus x1. All right, and the x1 and y1 represent the coordinate point, and the m represents the slope. So we're going to use point A that we found, and point A had the point, had the coordinates, 3, 4. So we're going to do y minus, and I'm going to expand the points just so we can see that. So point A was 3, 4. So y minus 4 equals, now the slope between those was one fifth. So I'm gonna have one fifth and then parentheses and then X minus three and close parentheses. So that's the equation of the line in point slope form that goes through those two points. Then I'm going to hit enter 
and I'm gonna use point B to do the same thing. So the only thing that's gonna change is the X and Y values. So this time I'm gonna have Y minus two and then equals one fifth again. And this time, and this is where you have to be careful because the X coordinate is negative. So instead of putting X minus seven, be sure you put X plus seven. Now, here's where I'm gonna check these. And I'm gonna make a mistake here on this one and put in X minus seven. Now, oops, not that, X minus seven, there you go. Now, if you notice uh, the purple line, in my case, it's purple, is going through points A and point B and the black line, which is using point B, I, that's not going through. So that tells me I made a mistake. Now, my mistake could be one of two places. It could be I didn't calculate the slope correctly. That's the first place you wanna check always when you're working through these problems. The second place is make sure that you plugged the values in correctly. So I made a mistake and put X minus seven where that should be X plus seven. And so when I type in X plus seven, you'll see that the lines match up. One is right on top of the other. And if I were to turn one of them off, so to turn one off, I can simply click on the line. So right now the purple line, the line containing point A, that is turned off. And if I turn off point B, then you see now I have no line. So if I turn that on, okay, there it is. And then turn that one on, okay, we're good to go. So those are my two lines in point slope form. All right, now I'm gonna turn that folder off so I don't see those points anymore. And then I'm going to make another folder. So in this folder, now notice this folder was, came in right before there. If I wanna rearrange that, I'm gonna just move that down below. I'm gonna move that down below. In this folder, uh, so first we did point slope form, and then what we're going to do is do uh, standard form. Now in standard form, you'll know that you, you're gonna take the two equations that you got from here. So you're gonna take this equation y minus four equals one fifth x minus three, and you're gonna change that into standard form. Then when you get done with that, you're gonna take the second equation you came up with, and you're gonna change that into standard form as well. So this is our standard form uh, formula, standard form. So again, S is capitalized, F is capitalized, standard form, and if you forget what that is, that's AX plus BY equals C. And A has to be positive, no fractions whatsoever. Make sure that the value you come up with A represents that. And then the other thing, C is going to be your constant. So, so you know what we want our variables on what on our left and our constant on your right. So when you solve A, Y minus four equals one fifth uh, X times quantity X minus three, you'll end up with an equation. Now, when you do that same process again with this, y minus two equals one fifth x plus seven, when you do that same equation and change that to standard form, you should get the exact same equation. And that's how you know you did it correctly. And the equation that you should get would be x minus five y equals negative 17. Now notice I typed in Z by mistake, so if we make that mistake, no biggie. So there we go. So there's our equation in standard form. Now notice it goes through points A and B, so that's good. Now I'm gonna turn on one of these lines from point slope form, and it turns both of them on, and notice there's not a separate line for any of them, so that's good. It goes, all three of those are matchy-matchy, which is what we want. All right, so that's cool. So now I'm gonna turn off the point slope formula folder, so I'm gonna fold that up, close that, now I'm actually gonna fold that up and close the standard form uh, folder as well. Now my last folder that we're gonna make is going to be called, and I'm gonna move this to the bottom. The last one is called slope intercept form. Do you forget what slope intercept form? That's y equals mx uh, plus b, and m is your slope and b is your y intercept. Now people will use different ways to get there, to get that problem into slope intercept form. Some people will use the standard form version, that's totally fine. Others will use point slope formula to get it into slope intercept form. Either one, it's completely, completely up to you. But since I just did standard form, I like to kind of work off of that one. 
Um, now, when you do that, you'll end up with the equation y equals 1 fifth, so 1 over 5. Now, notice the cursor is at the bottom, so slide it to the side. And then I'm going to have uh, 1 fifth x and then plus 17. 1 fifth x plus 17. Now, when you do that, we're going to make sure, like, yes, does that go through? Absolutely. And so I've got uh, that part right there. Now, 1 fifth um, x plus 17, if I take a look at that, then I don't see that graph. Now, let me see. Did I make a mistake? Yes, I forgot the over 5 part. Oh, okay, coolio. Now it works. So when you do that, it's going to, you're going to take a look at that and all three of them should be the same. Now, on the standard form, remember, we want to go back, whatever that standard form is, the number in front of x, which in this case happens to be 1, but you want that number to be a positive whole number, which means no fractions, no decimals, positive whole number. So sometimes we've got to do some multiplying to get rid of that uh, number if there's a fraction in front of that. So that's what you, you need to do for this assignment, and hopefully that makes a little bit more sense for you. Now, when you're done, of course, when you are done, click Save to make sure that you save that graph. You're gonna do something similar for your homework, so make sure it'll be the same thing. The only thing that's gonna be different is here, now we're going to change the point values. And when you go to do your homework, it'll have a similar title, and I'll talk about that in your homework. So that's how you can use Desmos to check the uh, slope between two points and find the different forms of a line to make sure you did that correctly. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, leave them below or see me in class and I will catch up with you later. Peace out, Cub Scout.